What's up guys? Today I'm going to be popping out a lot of videos, so if you're a subscriber, I apologize if some of these videos sort of annoy you. Um, I sometimes worry that uh, I'm trying to answer all these questions people have, but I also worry about the subscribers, so it kind of turned into a weird deal here. Um, but today's video is on the snakeskin Grammy. Um, I think I've what I try to do is team up a bunch of questions, and when I get enough of them, I'll just do like a care video on these fish. And I can hear my wife is vacuuming above me here. So uh, let's um, let's just jump to the question, and I'll start talking about the snakeskin Grammys. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to send them to me. Um, this is a Q and A channel after all. So all right. All right, guys, so here are some snakeskin juveniles. Um, the only difference in the snakeskin garami and other garamis is these guys are known as the gentle giants. So they get a lot larger. They will grow anywhere from, uh, I would say, six to six inches to a foot long, which is pretty crazy. Um, I looked up some quick care guides on the internet, and what's funny is uh, for tank size, they tell you like a 30 gallon minimum. And if, in, if, if you guys, if these fish grow a foot long, I just said that, there's no way you're going to get them in a 30 gallon tank. So here's one that is easily 16, 17 centimeters. These are such as some photos from the internet, really cool looking fish. They're somewhat rare in the industry and a lot of people don't, uh, don't keep these for some reason. So, uh, I get a lot of questions though. It seems like people either are obsessed with them or they just don't even know they exist. So it's, uh, it's kind of broadened my horizons to kind of wonder what garamis are out there. So super cool fish. Uh, they are just generic omnivores, community fish. Uh, they're not going to be aggressive. Uh, just generic diet flakes. They're heavy eaters since they are ginormous fish. But yeah, as far as keeping these garamis, uh, they are pretty hardy for the most part. Just keep, keep good water, get a good filter, I highly advise um, a canister. Uh, the Fluva 406 is a super popular one, or there's a new Penplex 700 canister that was uh, rated canister of the year last year, 2017, and it's really cheap. So um, if you uh, guys have any questions, I would feed these fish personally, just uh, Omega-1 generic flakes until they get uh, of adequate size to feed them larger food. Um, they are omnivores, super easy fish to keep. Uh, I don't actually, I wish I had better footage of some like monster snakeskin garamis, but like I said, these are pretty rare fish. I've actually never seen an adult in real life. So if you guys have any videos of uh, adult size snake skin grommies, send me them because that would be killer. Um, have the daughter right now. Uh, she's having kind of a crabby patty day today. Um, we're gonna visit this, the fish store later today. Maybe that'll cheer her up. Maybe it won't, I guess we'll see. So, um, but yeah, snakes and garamis, awesome fish. I wish I had more footage of them, but they're just tough to come by. And yeah, let me know. Send your questions my way. Okay, we're on to the next vid.